Yes, no injuries were reported in that planned explosion at LMU. Thank goodness, yeah. but this coming from both LMU and Claiborne County E911. And tonight we're getting a better look at what caused rock and debris to go flying, damaging cars and a university building. In our top story tonight, WAT6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens finds out what happened and what's being done to fix the damage. LMU's board chairman Pete DeBusk explains crews are taking material from this hill to build another access road on campus. Everything was done according to procedure, but it's still an accident. These things are going to happen, and I'm glad nobody got hurt. He explains during a planned explosion, their drill basically hit a weak spot. When you're blasting a wall off like that, it's called a fault. There can be a fault in that wall, and only Mother Nature knows because that Mother Nature put it there. He blames that weak spot for the rock and debris flying across this parking lot, hitting several cars and even going through a building. And he believes their contractor was following protocol. Tavia Moore is just glad she didn't have class here Tuesday. Yeah, like I saw the shattered window and then I saw the rock go through the building and then I saw someone's car that the window was shattered and then the door was dented. It just kind of freaked me out. DeBusk says the contractor will be liable for property damage. Cars, they can be fixed. It's people that can't, sometimes can't be fixed. Nobody got hurt. I'm going to count my blessings and leave it at that. University officials do not have an exact number of cars or trucks that were damaged in this parking lot, but they did tell me the number already exceeds a dozen. In Claiborne County, Blake Stevens, WATE 6 on your side. Now, DeBusk also saying this would have been a lot worse if there were students walking to or from class when this happened. He said contractors intentionally schedule these things when the parking lot is relatively empty and they send out alerts ahead of those blasts.